pole position Ollie Chadwick hoping not to make the mistake this time that was uh, what the green flag waved at the back again it's a six lap race half the distance that was covered by the touring cars and the red lights go out now and side by side are the front row Charlie Robertson on the left and the yellow car on the right hand side is Ollie Chadwick as they head up towards uh, Richards for the first time all closely bunched this looks going to end up with a problem Alan if you still have uh, the uh, winner of that race Dave Newton to talk to feel free off you go Alan I certainly will I'm going to dive in and have a word Dave let me talk to you I'm not letting you get away that's for sure what a dream what a dream fantastic yeah brilliant I thought we might be able to do something like this this weekend if, if everything went into place we had great pace in qualifying great pace in, in, in practice no testing in between no, nothing's in eight weeks and uh, it's just awesome, isn't it? It really is fantastic. We were looking back yesterday after qualifying at your first race of the season. Now you start the second half of the season as well with a top step at the podium. Absolutely fantastic. We've watched you so many times when you won the Clio Cup, leading, leading comprehensively and not putting a wheel wrong. That's what you had to deliver today as well. I to do it. Uh, yeah, you just don't know what. My car it will go off at the end of the, end of the, end of the race. You don't know what anybody else is going to do. So I had to really control it, really look after the car and uh, just try and keep up a quick pace as well to try and get away just in case I did fall into the clutches later on but no I kept him I kept him at bay and uh, yeah it's the last couple of laps I just stroked at home but it was long two laps enjoy the moment enjoy the moment and Chris James congratulations happy team boss definitely definitely just an amazing achievement I mean little old team race racing.com a uh, race winning British touring car team that's, that's it all that's it. Well, I don't know that I would have been able to cope with all the changes of position which have happened on the first half lap of the Chicago Juniors because it, they're chopping and changing it at every corner. Pat Fielding was leading his steady ball because as you have to me, uh, we had him having a big slide there going into Brundle and that's dropped him down several places. I think out of it all, is it Charlie Robertson who's immersed in front? But it could be, it's, it's one of the white ones anyway, uh, heading down into Marius for the first time. Uh, we've got Freddie Lee being uh, fired off there onto the grass. Uh, and we've got another car coming across the at great speed, missing out the whole of Murray's, but he's rejoined now, but not by making contact with anybody. So, at the end of lap one, this is the order, Charlie Robertson, it is in the lead. In second place is Niall Murray. Uh, in third place is Ollie Chadwick. Fourth is Harry Woodhead. Seventh Fielding's recovered to fifth. Sixth is Andrew Watson. Seventh is Pepe Basso. And car 88, Harry Woodhead, is being given a drive through penalty for a false start. Uh, just carrying on with the order, then we'll uh, see how it's, uh, it's not going to settle down. This is just going to carry on like this, I think. There's a tap given by number five, Nar Murray. That was early on in the race to send the field to get him out of the way. Uh, so it's a very unruly race so far. Will Palmer uh, in 10th place. In 11th place is Tom Jackson. 12th is Elliot Patterson. 13th after him being speared off onto the grass is uh, Freddie Lee. So uh, that is lap one of six or five more to go. So a drive through penalty for a full start uh, is heading the way, or has already been uh, announced for Harry Woodhead, uh, who is the leading rookie driver at the moment in fourth place. But Pepe Masso uh, is the next of the rookies.